All right, homies. Let's continue the process of building the Zion Kingdom to its fullest potential. Can't remember where we left off. I keep forgetting. I have a, I have a bad t habit of doing that. <laughs> Actually playing during the day. Oh, instead of playing in the middle of the night. Awesome. All right, so let's see where we left off. Looks like we're low on stone. What did we heavily put into stone? Okay, we collected our taxes. Um, yeah, so we started a new year. We had a problem with the farm. Let me quickly log in to every other instance of the report has been people misunderstanding the UI. This topic will close up for two months. And if you reopen the window, if I reopen the window, if I reopen the food window, note the rotations in the UI also rotate. What this means is that when the current year ends, the rotation moves down to rotation two, three, two, then becomes the current year. This is why it may appear your farm's only planting on rotation one. Oh, that's not how it used to work. I swear it used to actually show the animation would move down and highlight that. I'll keep an eye on this. We're back at it. Uh, we're low on stone. Let's see what everyone's harvesting. And if not, yeah, I see there's a big stone right here. There's a big one right there. Uh, that will hopefully get us back up to speed with some of these resources that we'll need. We're already building a fence. We've established that. Let's take a quick overlook one more time of what we got going on regarding resources. Um, it looks like we're consuming more food than we're producing overall, which could be troublesome. We need... I don't know of another way to get uh, like cattle besides opening up the trading post. So we might need to get on that as fast as possible, but we don't really have enough resources to trade so easily and doing so yeah i don't know this might get a little tricky uh we might want to get look into the trading post i think that's an amenity trading post is relatively cheap it'd be nice to kind of have it in the middle over here kind of digging the vibe don't want to be too close to that i think i'll put it right here nice little spot for it leave a two gap maybe leave a two gap we're missing pelts. Are we really running low on pelts already? Do we need another hunter? We have a lot of animals out here. I'm not thrilled about doing that. And upgrading is going to cost us an arm and a leg for it. Yeah, we were way far away from even doing such a thing. Um, what are they doing right now? Butchering meat, yeah. Tempted. Tempted to, to get another hunter up and running. We'll see if it's worth it or not. Healer's house would be pretty nice. It's just going to cost us a lot of money. And I forgot, it is a monthly cost. Not something I think we can necessarily afford right now. The school doesn't have a monthly cost. Don't need rat catchers. Tempted to give them a school. Get the education up and running. Do it on this side. Um, do I want it like way out here? Not really. The top houses don't get it. I'd like to get as much benefit from it as possible. We need clay production. Actually, we are working on clay. How's that coming along? And we're being raided. Awesome. Uh, I don't think we're super prepared for this. We're just going to call people back. We should have someone in the tower. What are they going to steal from us? Wood? Yeah, mainly got wood. A little bit of gold. So I'm calling everyone back. So, quick explanation, half time. You're able to call everyone back to the town center. It kind of just gives them a central location to kind of hide. Not everyone can hide there is my understanding. I don't even know if there's like a threshold of an easy count for us to look at as who can or cannot fit in. Here we go though, coming in. We got the tower doing work. Um, I think some may try and combat, yeah. Okay. Man, I don't know if I'm really prepared for this. Couple arrows though. We got two people in the town center. Looks like they're doing work. Three, three arrows coming out. Oh, we're definitely doing damage to them. Raid one raiders down. Two raiders down. Towers coming in. I if they're gonna go for something, they're probably gonna go for the stock house. Uh, they're gonna be well out of the range. Oh, they might be going for the market. I don't know how far this hits. This guy's definitely gonna go down. Oh, seriously, that missed. It looks like they can hit from this range. They may not be able to get anything. Okay, another one down. Another hit right there. Awesome. 
whatever little bit of greens they got, they're not going to get it. They're definitely going down. Nice. Awesome. After each raid, and uh, depending on success or failure, you can actually read an overview of it. So six six raiders, um, yeah, six raiders came in, six were killed, zero villagers were destroyed, uh, were killed, excuse me, zero buildings were destroyed, items pillage were none, train guards and build towers to help defend, uh, thieves, walls, or another relevant defense, since guards may alone. Okay, awesome. So we're going to get people back out and run in. I'm glad we were able to defend, and I'm glad we put up the towers when we did. I don't know if they're scheduled by time. I'm assuming they are. Maybe after a certain amount of years, they start coming through. But we are building up fences at this point. Um, so that eventually will keep them at bay. The biggest concern is going to be getting up more barracks. Fences are fine. It's a nice way to slow them down. But at the end of the day, you need to kill them. A barracks alone, I believe, for each soldier, you're, you're, you need the income to support them, if I remember correctly. Yeah, looks like... We have a typhoid risk. There goes that soap that I was telling you about. Probably need to build some soap um, out here. So let's let's actually get on that as well. I was going to hold off. I think it's a risk. It pops up and it goes depending on how much access to clean water. Might as well not risk it. Let's get typhoid up and running. Oh, what is going on? Lack of clothes, lack of food. That food is hitting us hard. We are lacking food by the months. And we're just now going to be able to produce beans and things of that nature. The hunters doing what they can do. Uh, quite unfortunate. They're butchering the meat. Tempted to put out another hunter. What's our people looking like? We got a lot of laborers, so we could technically afford someone else dealing with some of the hunting. Let's just go for it. Food production. Hunter cabin. Probably just put it next to the other one. I mean. Okay. We don't really have anything out there. A little bit more deer sighted. This is definitely the area for it. Everything up here. Very dense in animals. We have our hunter, second hunter, up and running. Let's point him in the right direction. Yeah, just kind of over here-ish, you know. You see it, kill it. Typhoid, disease. Let's get... Make sure I didn't build one yet last time. Okay, no, I did not. Soap shop. I'm going to put it way out here by the compost. Once again, just one of those places you don't want a beer nearby. I mean, I'd like... <laughs> Theme-wise, I don't want to put it next to the, with the place where we, 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 we put poop. Um, yo, get that wolf. Swear to God. Don't pick that wolf up. That's good meat. Um, so I think I'm gonna put it, uh, oh, where's that soap at? This is the soap, soap shop. I think I'll put it on the other, other side where we have the other negativity, all the, uh, desire, the, the, the undesirable locations. Um, I don't want to build on top of these. Building's on fire. You serious? Okay. Buildings can't catch on fire. In one of my playthroughs, I did end up spacing out the buildings quite a bit. And I feel like that did handle a lot of the fire issues that I had going on. Um, might, might also just be an issue with access to water. But I may be wrong. House is on fire. We do have a well pretty nearby. Not too worried about it. It's going to take some damage, but they're going to handle it pretty quickly. Okay. Uh, we're starting to... Sp Spoil some food. Oh, I think it might be the fact that we have raw meat. No, we're, we might be spoiling some food. Probably some greens and stuff. If they don't pick it up pretty soon. Beans are almost done. We're looking to... Get a yield of 700, it looks like. We'll be beaned out, but at least we have it. And once again, we can see if crops rotate. And I can worry a little bit less about that. They're still worried about food. We need to get that close up and running. I thought we had enough flax to deal with that. We have 420. Do we not have a clothes shop? I swear that we made one last time I played. We're just waiting for wood. Oh, we're oh we're waiting for we're waiting for planks. Are we just we just been on low on planks. Okay. Come more trees, please. Let's get on that, people. And I'm assuming planks doesn't. No, this is just for firewood. So this just would be normal wood. Yeah, normal 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 logs. When it comes to foraging, let's just take a look to make sure. I mean, we've done a lot when it comes to building around places. So we, we may have just an overall issue of people unable to work for the fact that we've gotten rid of a lot of the good stuff. I'm tempted to move one way out here, actually. Look at that. Get some willow out here instead of this location, which is pretty much just a couple hawthorn berries and some random greens. Not many. Yeah, this might this might be the way to go. I'm gonna move this. Let's move this. I'm gonna relocate this building. Leave them right at the door, at the gate. 
stop. That's not the one I wanted to move. I think I moved the wrong one. Yeah, that one's not the one. This one. Move this one. There we go. Okay. Cool. Did we harvest? We harvested. We have. We're up beans now. 171. 560. The arborists. We are collecting clay. I'd like to see where we're at with that. Probably not high, it looks like. We only got four or five. Is there a reason for that? Are they just slow about collecting? Transferring. Okay, transferring goods takes... Wait, but I thought the wagon is... What's the wagon for? Mm hmm. Hmm. Maybe the wagon wasn't up and running. Maybe it's too far. I can't select the place location for it. I thought it would just work. Can't click you to do something like... What if I clicked you to move? Yeah, you get off the wagon. I don't want you doing that. Get back on the wagon. Okay. Regardless, back to the clay production. We need we need some clay for the arborist. I think I'm willing to at least get into it. Uh, why? What's the difference between that overview and the one that I clicked on? Tempted to build more cropland. So, thinking like right here in this area will be will be the arborist. Let's try that. We'll need a lot of clay for that. Hopefully, they can get that up and running pretty soon. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Okay, so um, looking at the people, we have nine people. A lot of that food is going to start coming back once we start building more crops. I am going to be tempted to build more crops. But I'm also thinking about getting into the, what was it called? Workhouse? Labor house? Work camp. And I believe I explained this, but the work camp provides a temporary shelter that can be, will, that can be built in a location. And it's mainly used to collect, what is it? Wood and stone. So as long as we can find a pretty like heavily wooded area, and of course stones would be nothing but a plus, they pretty much work at it. And it would provide just a location for them to stay off the night. And it looks like for a benefit's sake, our wagon would do a bit more work than what it's doing now, which again, I'm surprised that, yeah, like why are they hauling it away? Uh, no, they're just building it looks like. No, they're carrying it. Oh, yeah, I don't get it. Am I wrong in saying that the wagon was meant for this? No, because the wagon is a requirement for these these pits. Unless you just need to put it out there like as a starting point. I don't know if that's a, a benefit from it. I just expect these people to be working, not hauling their stuff. We'll see. Um, we're going to put a labor camp out here. It's not a desirable location to be by as well, keeping that in mind. Um, let's run away. We'll try and put them out, out here more. Let them walk a little bit. Wagon should be doing more work than what it is now. I just built this for nothing. Maybe I'm misunderstanding, once again, how it should work. A wagon word transport. I'm going to want to get into this, this willow bush production as well. That's going to be very tempting. Just because we could have... We need baskets. We need baskets. People need to move stuff faster. We are going to want to set these up for a better efficiency, kind of trading off. One does maintenance, one gives us food. That way we're always constantly feeding food. We can't spend another year not feeding the food. Um, I'm tempted to do it after the carrot production. So we need to find out somewhere in between this. Kind of sneak in there. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. I got distracted. I don't know what we're on. What are we on? I don't know. Um, we're getting clay. Um... Uh, I think the clay is going to be the main thing. I'm, I'm really annoyed with the wagon. We got the work camp. Oh, it's up and running. Already got people chopping trees. Wonderful. Let's move them bigger, greater area. We do got rocks at the outskirts. So I guess if we truly need them to get it, we can. You can also set the ratio of like what you need over another. I think a one-to-one -one would be perfectly fine. And you can set them to uh, mature trees only. I don't know how the tree generation works in the game. I'm assuming trees are just randomly reborn replanted regrown as you go throughout because i'm pretty sure we've pretty much chopped every tree that was here in the initial stages but as as you play the game they start coming back i don't know if it's a tree or not um but regardless that's why you may see that there are some smaller trees some bigger ones so to avoid them just chopping down every tree in sight we're gonna aim for them to only do the mature trees awesome this is once again as they collect this, this wagon should do something. And if not, maybe, you know what? Let's just disable enable. That's right. Get out of here. You're fired. Go chop some, <laughs> go chop some logs. You don't get to just sit around all day anymore. 
How are we on food production? Uh, not food production, shoe production. Uh, cobblers are over here. This needs to get prioritized. I'm sorry, but we're still we're running probably pretty low. Yeah, we're in 60s now. I don't want to get below 50. 70 was like below 80 was like okay. We should probably start worrying about it. Below set, yeah. Below 80 we should start worrying about it. Below 70 I I want it done. I'm not going below 60. I've I think at one point or another I had people dying left or right because I left I let the shoes get really bad. Um, so I don't want to do that with clothes. I want to make sure we get this as soon as possible. That's gonna be a prioritized pretty soon. Man, this the game and the sounds is just elegant, elegant. Love this game. Are you not doing anything? I swear I'm going to move your butt out here. We are full on. We're about to be full. Oh, this is full. Okay. Okay. I was not expecting that. We are full on food right now. We need another root cellar. Probably just going to put it next to the other barrack or on this side. Let's see what we got. I wonder if you can only approach this from one side. Never really thought about that. Okay. Are you guys just idling? Because you're... Oh, well. This is awkward. Dropped in and out of plane. A couple things popped up. Let's figure out where I left off at. Okay, so we got a couple buildings building. We have a couple buildings. We have a couple, bu <laughs> we have a couple buildings that are uh, going to go up soon. The training post is going to go up and running. We got the farm going. We have not replaced it yet. We should have replaced it. I'm pausing time. I'm going to do it right now while we're barely starting at the beginning of this. So, ooh, they got infected. Okay, that's going to be the setup for the first one. Just got somewhat of a rotation with some maintenance going on, but I think that should be good. I do see that we're infected, and I read it. Soil-borne disease that affects buckwheat. Buckwheat, beans, and peas. It's most active in cooler, moist weather. It can cause significant crop loss if not managed through rotation to other crops and remains in the soil for years. We do have the working camp, so they should be constantly working on this. I think for now we can increase their odds to oops, 2 to 1 just so we get more wood out of the way. I don't think we need a stone massively urgently right now. Wagon still being wagon, not doing its thing. But I'm, I think I'm just going to move it over here in the middle. Just to see if that does anything. It's kind of a waste otherwise. I'm going to click on it. Wagon. Move. Maybe move it closer is what it needs. I have no idea. I'm guessing at this point. Shouldn't take too long for that. We do have a lot of money just sitting around. We should start looking into random little upgrades. Let's get these small parks up and running. Let's see what we did over here. We didn't put anything on these edges. Let's do these. That'll end up using our gold, which is going to be A-OK -okay with me. How's the sub coming along? Let's look at the people. Uh, where was it? No longer in risk for typhoid for cleansiness. It looks like your villagers aren't unhappy because they lack clothes. Try building a tannery or weaver shops to help. Weaver shop just opened up too long ago, so they should be in production. Soap-wise, I don't know. I mean, how much does the average home use soap? Does everyone just get a bar? Let's just say we have two for a home, each home. How many homes we got? Yes, we can. 16. Okay. 16 times 2. 32. Uh, we'll do a little more than that. Let's do 45. I don't know. Something obscure. Forager's doing foraging stuff. Oh, this we built this forager. Forgot to completely get him to do stuff. We want to aim for these willow, willow stuff. They're going to be traveling a lot, but I think it's going to be well worth it and keeping them within range. So they don't end up dying on us for whatever reason. Let's just make sure we kind of cover as much as possible. Villagers keep getting born. I'm okay with it. It's just a little annoying because they can't enter the workforce right away. Um, we can kind of see that here, right? Four senior people, 27 adults, 10 adolescents, 13 children, 9 infants. We're low on labor, and that much because of the buildings that we started creating. We should really factor for the fact that we're going to lose people. So we need to get more food going. The Arborist is going to be one of those things that's going to give us food. That's the working camp. Arborist will be... We might need to just build another farm. Okay, the wagon's working now. Do you need? Do they need to be within a certain range? Is that what it is? How interesting. Did not think it mattered. I don't want to make it too close this way because then they need to walk to work, get to the pit, and then drive back. So this is kind of like a midway, you know? 
Might be worth investing to a couple more houses to see if we can't get more people. I think we're going to do a couple more houses. And we're going to finish off this little block of land that we got going. Um, in reality, based on our market, it looks like you could fit... I don't know. I got what is it? We said 16 houses. Maybe a couple up here if I didn't put it too close to the town center. I wanted to stay next to the town center because I know that they receive a slight boost from it. Town centers do that. Um, they should at least. Yeah, town center 8% versus like... Yeah, people way out here don't get any town center upgrade or boost for desirability. Leave them a single gap. Put it there. One more there. There. And there. We should still cover everything. Should be dandy. Cool. We're slowly approaching winter. No more crops to spare. Looks like the root or the, the disease is gone, whatever it was. Are we low on laborers? We're low on laborers. So when I start to see the fact that, you know, we still have a fence that isn't built. We have these buildings that aren't being built. You know, we have plenty of builders. Of course, according to this, we don't have enough laborers. And that just comes from having a lack of people. We need to have an abundance of food populated. And we're having a little bit of an issue uh, for that. But unfortunately, that's all I have time for today. If you homies enjoyed, feel free to leave a like down below. Leave me a comment. Once again, if you can subscribe, that would be great. So far, the village is coming along pretty well. I'm sorry. The kingdom is coming along pretty well. It's taking a while. We got a couple of buildings upgrading. I think we just need to we just need to push for more food. I'm thinking we start working on crops next time. Uh, and possible that trading post is going to open us the ability to get some cattle. We just need to make sure we have the goods available to trade for them. But beyond that... Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Let me letting me know what you think. Thanks again. Peace.